Broncos general manager George Payton says that we have to upgrade at one critical position this offseason. What's up Broncos country? Welcome to Denver Broncos Syndicate, part of the sports syndicate family of channels where we are dedicated to bringing you content about our favorite sports teams. I am your host, Gage Madrid. Before we jump in guys, if you could just do me a big favor and smash the like button on this video as well as subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. Those are two free and easy ways that you can help show your support. It helps tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out to fellow members of Broncos country just like you and me. So this week is the NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis. Among many things that happens up there in Indy this week is the NFL media gets to talk with all 32 coaches and GMs. When speaking with local Denver reporters, Broncos GM George Payton made it clear that the team is going to enter this offseason with a high priority to address this one key position, and that is the offensive line. The Broncos have had offensive line issues for the better part of the last decade, dating well back to the Peyton Manning days. In 2022, the Broncos' offensive line was one of the worst in the NFL, surrendering 55 sacks. Although, I can't stress this enough, I'd have to probably put at least 15 of those sacks on Russell Wilson himself for holding onto the ball too long, as well as hesitating in the pocket. With NFL free agency approaching in less than two weeks now, I feel like there are going to be three, maybe even four positions on the offensive line that the Broncos are going to focus on. The only players who I feel like are safe on the Broncos offensive line entering next year are Quinn Miners and to a certain extent Garrett Bowles. Aside from that, I feel like the Broncos are going to want to make some upgrades at left guard, center, and right tackle this offseason. At left guard, Dalton Reisner is set to be a free agent, and all indications are that he will not be back in the Mile High City next year. Because of this, one guy I would keep an eye on for the Broncos to bring in as a free agent is Philadelphia Eagles guard Isaac Sayamalo. Sayamalo recently played in the Super Bowl, and he is an absolute monster, especially as a run blocker. I could not imagine the road grading duo of him and Quinn Miners as your two guards. That would be absolutely insane. Now, if you brought in Sayamalo, you'd have to determine who plays left guard and who plays right guard, because historically, Sayamalo has played right guard throughout his career. I feel like Quinn Miners would be able to transition to the left guard spot fairly seamlessly, so I feel like that wouldn't be an issue at all if we brought in Isaac Sayamalo. At the center position, Graham Glasgow is likely to be cut, and I also feel like Lloyd Cushenberry is going to be either a cut or a trade candidate this offseason. He just hasn't developed ever since we drafted him in the third round in 2020, and he just really has not proven to be a serviceable starting center in the NFL. One guy in free agency that I would definitely keep an eye on is Cleveland Browns center Ethan Posick, who actually worked with Russell Wilson in Seattle a few years ago. Posick had a sneaky good year for the Browns last year after they suffered season-ending injuries to two of their starting centers. Postick figures to get a nice payday on the open market, and I would not be surprised if Denver would be heavily interested in his services. As far as the right tackle position is concerned, as many in Broncos country well know, that has been an issue for us ever since 2014 when we moved longtime right tackle Orlando Franklin inside to left guard. Ever since then, we have started over 20 different players at right tackle since 2014. That's not going to fly. I don't feel like the Broncos are ever truly going to solve this problem until they go out and spend some premium draft capital on a right tackle. I'm talking draft one in the first round, which is obviously something that we can't do this year. The Broncos have tried the free agent market at right tackle a couple of times before. You think back to Menelik Watson and Jawan James, all of whom were paid handsomely and all of whom busted out here in Denver. But as we enter free agency this year, I feel like the Broncos may not have a choice considering we're lacking draft capital. We may have to go out and try the free agent well again at right tackle. The two best guys who are available are 49ers right tackle Mike McGlinchey and Atlanta Falcons right tackle Caleb McGarry. McGarry had the best season of his career last year and actually graded out as Pro Football Focus's top-rated right tackle. McGlinchey, on the other hand, has been widely considered as a top-tier right tackle for some time now. Unfortunately, San Francisco just can't afford to keep him. Both of those guys I feel like are going to be strong options for the Broncos at the right tackle position as we enter free agency. You know that 
that Sean Payton is going to want to have some heavy influence as to who he gets to upgrade this offensive line. So this is going to be a big time collaborative effort between George Payton and Sean Payton. Considering Sean Payton's history of building up the offensive line in New Orleans, I feel like that the Broncos will be able to do the same thing here. It's just going to maybe take a little bit more time considering we're lacking premium draft capital. I'm curious, Broncos country, what moves would you make to solidify the Denver Broncos offensive line? Drop those comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. And while you're at it, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Gage Madrid NFL for continuing Broncos coverage. And for now, this has been another episode of Denver Broncos Syndicate. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.